guys, it's Anna here. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm currently running on coffee, so I might be seeming like I'm a little hyper because I haven't drank coffee in a while. So today's video is definitely just gonna be like a really chill, chatty video. I feel like I have a lot to catch you guys up on as well as a thrift, a good old classic thrift haul. I collected a lot of these items um, from this past month and I got some goods. I got some home decor, fall, clothes to show you and some books because your girl has been getting into more self-development books just to kind of learn and grow and I'm also doing therapy which has been really really great also I yeah the lighting is gonna be really interesting because <laughs> um the sun is about to go down maybe that's why I'm talking really fast I'm just kind of like speeding this through but it's also the coffee I will talk slowly. Before I begin with this haul, um, I did want to show you guys a temporary tattoo brand because your girl is thinking of actually getting a tattoo for my birthday because also happy Libra season to all my fellow baby Libras. Um, my birthday is October 12th and my friend Olivia and I well, she is gonna get piercings and tattoos, and I want to get piercings. It's kind of like our tradition because our birthdays are so close by to each other, and uh, we usually get piercings like sometimes every year. But she's getting a tattoo, and I'm thinking of getting one because why not? And like I feel very spontaneous, and I've it's gonna be my first tattoo. The only thing is I'm a very indecisive person, so that's why like I'm trying to figure out like what I wanna do, but I think I know I wanna do something very, very minimal. So this is really great um, for me to try out this temporary tattoo brand. It's called Be Billy. They are based in Paris. They have a bunch of tattoos, like I will show you guys, like they have a lot to choose from. And the great thing is, is that they're temporary, so you could like figure out what you like, what you don't like, and it literally takes 45 seconds to apply and I really do like the fact that um, the packaging is also very recyclable. They are a startup brand so I thought I'd just give them a shout out and as you can see like I've already applied some. I did this like lightning bolt one and this fire. Fire, fire. On my wrist. I'm thinking of getting a tattoo maybe around here and then I did this one. There was like a long stem of like flowers that I just cut it and I just placed it right in between my bosoms. So I just thought I had fun with it. And yeah, I don't know. I've just been really like thinking of getting tattoos and I thought it'd be really fun. And you know, I'm turning 27, which is crazy. So we'll see about that. And also one thing I do want to mention is a lot of their uh, tattoos, they are fairly big. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to jump into my thrift haul. I picked up a lot of stuff from two different trips from Salvation Army Thrift Store. Um, so we're going to dive right into it okay so when I fixed up my room you know that day I went thrifting I did get in some uh, new clothing pieces of course guys make sure you're always washing your clothes right after you purchase them I don't even at this point like when I'm thrifting I don't even try it on um, in the fitting room because I am just kind of scared obviously like you got to be careful with like COVID and everything first thing I grabbed I saw this really pretty nude skirt and this kind of reminds me of something that I saw on, I follow this brand called Or Sound Iris. It's such a pretty, pretty fashion brand, and this skirt kind of reminded me of something that they had on their web, on their Instagram page, and I just thought it was really, really cute. I just love how simple, romantic. It's like a nice nude skirt, and I love the bottom trim. It's like little mini pleats. I don't really own anything like this and I just thought it was like a steal. Since like Halloween is coming up, I don't know. I don't even think I'm gonna be doing anything for Halloween to be honest because obviously you can't really throw parties or anything at this point and you gotta be careful socially distancing people. So I got this snake printed velvet t-shirt. I just thought it was really, really cool and interesting and I was thinking about Halloween but then, then I realized, I'm like, huh. If I don't do anything for Halloween, I might just wear this while I go work at a coffee shop just to be in the Halloween spirit. Velvet is one of my favorite for fall. Freaking love the velvet material. And then the next thing that I grabbed, so I was browsing the cardigan section and I found this. I have similar white cardigans, but nothing like this grandma style knitted sort of open button up cardigan. I just thought it was really cute. Kind of reminds me something that uh, is very like French inspired. Just 
wearing this, buttoning it up, tucking into a good pair of jeans, maybe some like black ankle booties, and, and even like this kind of fisherman's cap, and it's like a perfect fall look. Cardigans are really great, especially like the knitted ones, because it's like that weird transition when it's like summer to fall, and sometimes it's like hot and cold. So that's really great because it's like super breathable. Speaking of more knits, I picked up this cute sweater. This was brand new. It had the tags and it's like this chunky knitted sweater. This is perfect for, for fall to winter. I just love the color of this. This is like a freaking dress. This is a dress for me, but I like it. It's one of those cozy things that I want to wear indoors and uh, I definitely see myself wearing this for like the holidays. I love a good old classic knit sweater. And then the last thing that I grabbed um, that's clothing per se is this cute maxi dress. I just saw this uh, in the dress section just kind of hanging there and I'm like, you know what? I don't have any like fall dresses, anything of like this burgundy color super like stretchy it's really really great nothing else to it it's just like a long sleeve maxi dress um this is the perfect color for fall as you can see i'm obsessed with like wine red kind of color palette for my for my everyday and then i have a pair of shoes to show you i'm so excited i picked up at another time i went to the salvation army at port credit in mississauga i highly suggest that location they got a lot of good stuff they do. They do a really good job at like sanitizing by the way. So I found these booties for freaking fall. They're really cute. Perfect for my size. Um, the only downfall is that the high heel is for me at least a little bit high for me because this part is super flat. I do need to get something inside to just kind of give me a little bit of cushion. These are just really cute faux snake skin booties these are in really really great condition by the way and i i just i love the freaking color it's just perfect for fall the next accessory accessory why do i feel like i'm saying that weirdly um this next one is this cute purse like man like when i go thrifting now i'm like so freaking appreciative i don't go thrifting as often anymore but when i do i go all out and i found this bag and i was just like you are coming home with me you're just so cute i just love the bamboo handles it just looks really different and it just instantly caught my eye um this is definitely like maybe springish summery but i could still wear it for fall and when it comes to like purses i like to thrift a lot of like vintage purses and i'll just collect them so i don't know what i'm collecting it for but i just had to show you guys such a cute little thing it kind of almost reminds me of like one of those old fashion like medical bags but like super stylish you know what i mean all right my final purse that i grab again i don't know where or when i'm gonna like wear this but it's so freaking pretty it's like this rock hard bag um it's like faux faux alligator skin it's like the perfect vintage looking kind of bag i don't think it's actual authentically vintage the quality is actually really great but you can tell like this is plastic so it's not authentically vintage but i mean it's still cute and i just i love the shape of it it's like a really interesting structured bag and also tada you got a mirror here so this is gonna save me a lot of you know, trouble. <laughs> like, um, if I need to touch up my makeup or anything like that, I can use the mirror and also just the inside. It's because this purse is like well structured, I feel like I could put anything in here without it being destroyed. Ugh, now I just want to like go somewhere and dress up. I just want to dress up. <laughs> um, honestly, like, I've, I've, most of the time I'm like usually just chilling at home yeah or like going out in nature so like i don't really i do dress up a little bit but nothing crazy like this so i kind of miss dressing up i need something i need somebody to invite me to like a socially distance party or something and now let's talk about home decor so this is i picked up two beautiful frames um i kind of wanted to show you this one first so oh it's like spanking brand new i just immediately fell in love because i love this detail of the frame it's like a silvery metallic color but i'm either thinking of doing like a painting diy for this um actually one of you guys gave me a really good idea for me to do like a thrifted maybe art kind of video where it's like a diy um so i went to go and pick up this beautiful frame and i'm so glad there's like nothing 
to it. It's pretty much brand new. Oh, I love the grooves. I still want to look for that mirror, man. Like, now that I pretty much sold most of my furniture from when I moved um, back from Toronto back to my parents' place, I had to get rid of most of my furniture. So, I definitely want to have my gold frame mirror. That is my dream. Final home decor piece is this wonderful frame. This picture of it's like just this flower and it's just like a nice vintage looking piece. I love the golden frame. It kind of has like these little cool leaf work around and I just thought this would be really pretty. I'm thinking of hanging it by one of my blank walls just onto the corner here because my walls are still pretty bare and you guys know like I love an organized vintage looking mess if that makes sense i mean what i mean by that is like i love like clutter but like cute styled clutter and again i'm like getting really into art yeah expect to see some um painting videos with like the previous frame that i showed you so final final two things that i grabbed are books i have just been really again working on myself one book that i finished was attached and that's a really great book because it kind of teaches you um, about different forms of attachments. There's it, the anxious type, there's also um, the avoidant type, and then the secure type. And it's just really kind of got me to understand myself a lot more. Um, I kind of come from like the anxious type of in terms of attachment. And it's just really interesting. And as I'm going through therapy as well, um, this is a totally different topic, by the way. We're getting a little deep here, but... I guess for me it's like I'm learning a lot of things, even things that like didn't work out in my previous relationship, um, I'm starting to understand certain correlations and also a lot of things that I needed to I need to work through in terms of therapy and it's been really great. Even a lot of like trauma things, um, even things from my childhood too, just like things to like really understand and work through and it's been definitely quite a journey and it's definitely not an overnight process but um if you guys are struggling with you know mental health i think it's really good to you know speak out and reach out to somebody that you trust and if if and when you are ready like therapy is also a really great you know tool it's a great tool for me at least um so anyways like while I'm on that note and while I'm like working on myself, I've just been like, even when I'm going thrifting, I also look at the book section now. Picked up these two books that I just thought were just really inspiring. Um, I'm a big fan of like self-help books and just inspiring books. So the first one is called uh, Drop Threads, What We Aren't Told. Um, this is edited by Carol Shields and by Missouri Anderson. This book is basically um, different voices and different perspectives kind of writing in their short story form of like things from love, things from relationships, things from like I think divorce too. Just like life experiences essentially and i'm still on the first bit i just feel like this will be like a really great book and something for me to kind of like learn from especially now like just navigating life on my own and just kind of like stepping into this like new new world <laughs> the next book that i grabbed this is the last thing this is acts of kindness so this is just basically inspirational stories for everyday life and this is by edited by adam mayers i guess these are just some inspirational stories i haven't read through this the book kind of speaks for itself like the title acts of kindness i think it's really important to be kind to people and just to learn again through other people's experiences and perspectives because we all have a wide range of perspectives and the way that we view life and the way that we even go through life like man it's just crazy because it's been like three months which is crazy but um i feel like I've learned so much and I tell this to my friends too that I've learned so much this past three months than I've ever did these past like three years. I will be completely honest. I think it's just super important to work on yourself and your mental health um, and also if there's things that you need to kind of work through even through past traumas or even childhood a lot of it stems from our adulthood and that's something that i'm just realizing as well i feel like i got really deep there but honestly like that's the kind of direction i am towards my life and i also want to be more you know open and deep and honest onto this channel as well um so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this thrift haul i hope you guys are well let me know how your mental health is doing I think it's really, really important to work on yourself before 
it's really important to fill your cup before you fill someone else's. Anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.